Peace and love, family. You're back with another one, man. But this time, I ain't got nothing to say. I just want to let y'all check out this little clip that I cut out from an interview. Very powerful interview. Two hours long. Man, I, please, 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 if you get a chance, try to watch the whole thing. Very powerful. The whole interview. Um, but I took out one very small part that resonated with me the most. It was hard to do because I resonated pretty much with the whole thing. But this 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 one part that I'm about to show y'all, it resonated with my message and, and, and what I'm promoting on my channel the most. And I couldn't have said it better myself. So y'all check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments if you enjoyed it. But scratch that. Go watch the whole interview. Link in the description, man. Love y'all. Till the next time, man. I'm up out of here to see the the damage done uh, to our minds in terms of mental slavery mm. uh, so you cognitive dissonance is one of the greatest challenge mm. uh, the inability to 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 unlearn and relearn and learn um, the inability to throw away that which you have always known to pick up that which is now revealed to you mm. so there's still uh, in the area of spirituality there's still those who who are following african spirituality and, and have it in the back of their mind of what if there is hell mm -hmm. what if what we are doing is hidden what if it's like that deep <laughs> ingrained fear that's been put deep inside it's a very deep D seed that's been yes. planted that's difficult to overcome. overcome yes mm. because you see the basis of this religion like some of them they say fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom mm. so mm. they ingrained the fear in us to the point that when you question things when you question stuff about god or religion it's like you're questioning god and i always say to people that i don't question god i don't have conversation with god i don't know what god is i'm questioning your idea of god what you say god is because God did not talk to me. And God, if need to communicate with me, will communicate to me, not mm. through you. Mm. Now, now, I'm questioning what you say about God. I'm not questioning God. You mm. know, If you're telling me that God is omnipotent, all-powerful, there is no way a mere mortal like me can question God. Mm. So, 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 so they come up with all type of excuses that um, you're questioning God or, or you are, you are being pagan. Or you're antichrist. I always said I'm not antichrist. I'm not pro-Christ either. I'm not antichrist. I'm anti-colonial. Mm. And if Christ is colonial, then I'm then I'm antichrist. Mm. Then, but I'm anti-colonial. Mm. If your expression of Christ is one that perpetuates a colonization of the African spirit and the African mind, then I question that, mm. and I question that w with a with a need to decolonize. Because you see, if you worship the God of the enemy of your ancestors. You are your ancestors' enemy. Mm. Now, we don't want to be at war with our ancestors. Mm. We know what our ancestors can do. I think most of us Africans, we fear the punishment of the ancestors than the punishment of God <laughs> or the punishment of hell. Yeah. I fear the wrath of my ancestors than yeah. any other imaginary God called Jehovah, Jesus, yeah, or yeah. whatever. So, now, we are doing this because we fear the ancestors mm. and we want to connect with our ancestors. And, and we realize that we are the only people who have turned our back on our ancestors and embrace the God of the enemy of our ancestors, uh, these gods that we are dealing with, they came with the colonizers, people who came and said, the ways of your ancestors are hedonism, the ways of your ancestors are pagan, are heathen. Now, we can't be embracing those who demonize our ancestors because we are our ancestors and our ancestors are us. Mm. We are our ancestors sitting here. We we are the totality of all that existed in us we carry all those people who came before us mm. so we must be a good representation of them and we can't do that in the expenses of misrepresenting them and coming up with something to suit the current narrative the current narrative is neo-colonial and neo-colonialism has produced neo-african culture and neo-african cultures produce afropians you know poor imitations of the white men mm. uh, black people who are 
uh, 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 caught up in white dichotomy. Mm. Now we need to get ourselves out of that space. Mm -hmm. And it is our responsibility to decolonize. So it is not an easy thing, but we see we see the light. We see a lot of people are awakening to the African reality. We see a lot of people are throwing away that fear. We see a lot of people are are shaking it off because they see that this thing is a mind control. Mm.